Welcome back to Dawn's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. We are on the second day of applying PPF to this 2023 Corvette C8 Stingray. This is a DIY video. This isn't in a shop in a professional atmosphere where we do PPF for a living. So I partnered with Ravuni to send me over some gloss paint protection film to apply to the C8. In the previous video, I demonstrated doing the hood and I have to say the hood looks pretty sharp. It's had more than 24 hours now to start to cure, so it doesn't look foggy anymore. And now this PPF matches the bumper that was done at the dealership. And I have to say, my edges might just be a little better than what the dealership did. So today we're gonna change gears a little bit. We are going to use some cutouts that I had one of the local shops do for me. So I provided them with the bulk film. They did some cutouts for some of the more finicky areas. So we'll demonstrate that today. And I'll also demonstrate the self-healing properties of this film. Let's go. So you might be wondering what a cutout looks like. I'll show you here. So they use a big machine called a plotter and you basically pass the film through and it makes cuts that are predetermined to make sure that everything is going to fit perfectly. And sometimes they even take into account where bends and folds are gonna take place. So there's relief cuts and things like that. So we are going to take this up to the front and you'll see just how detailed and meticulous that area is. And then we'll apply this film. So this is the area that we're going to use some of those cutout pieces. I've already done right here about half an hour ago. So some of the edges are still just drying. I'm not worried about that. We're going to do this center plate right here. And then this piece that goes all the way around the camera. You can see that doing this without a kit and using bulk PPF would be more difficult because how are we gonna cut out for these letters, just as an example? So that's where a kit sometimes uh, helps out. So you can buy this bulk film, have somebody cut it. Maybe you have a plotter yourself, you can cut it, uh, but we're gonna address this right now. And then I have all the pieces to continue you know, down here and uh, you know things like this. Uh, we've got all that covered. So now we'll try these middle pieces. I'll do a little bit of a time lapse just so it goes a little quicker for you, but I'm going to use slip solution, lay it down, line it all up. And then when I'm happy with the alignment, peel it back a bit, put some tack solution in there. That's my smaller bottle. And then I'll lay down those areas and feed it in. We just have to go around these letters. I suspect there'll be a little bit of the edges showing and we'll have to wait for it to dry before we can really press that down and outline these letters appropriately. Okay, we got it all laid down. Let me just explain what I had done. So I used slip solution on everything first just so the material would glide. Then when I felt it was close to aligned, I held it with one hand and I sprayed tack solution on the bottom because I wanted this to be nice and straight. That way I didn't have a wrinkle right here. And then I folded this back, added tack solution to that side, folded this side back, added tack solution, worked out all the air bubbles, all the moisture, You'll still see we have some edges that aren't dry. Those have to dry first before we can lay them down. And then we can just use our squeegee and wrap a rag around it and press hard. We can also use a little bit of heat when we're all done. It doesn't hurt even to spray this again with some slip solution and just go over it, making sure that we don't have any moisture trapped in there. Remember the slip solution is what's gonna help make sure that we don't damage the film as we're wiping it down. So I think now is a great time to do a demonstration on durability. When you're picking out a PPF film, make sure it has self-healing properties. Let me show you. All right, I have this scrap piece right here. We're just gonna lay it down with some tack solution, just like we were applying it to the car. I'm not gonna worry about slip solution because I just want it to tack down right away. And we're just gonna peel it up when we're done. Give it a wipe down, try out a bit. Okay, so it's not perfect because this is just a demonstration. So have a closer look at the film. 
It's only been on there for about 30 seconds, so it's inconsistent in color. That would normally all evaporate and then it would be just black. But for demonstration purposes, we're not gonna wait. We are gonna take this wire brush and we're gonna create swirl marks right in the film. So that's scratched right now. They don't wipe away. And now we're gonna add some heat and watch those disappear. They're gone. And that's why we use paint protection film. The paint is brand new, protected. All right, I think that worked out pretty good. We've got all of these pieces laid in. I did this off camera beforehand. You saw me do all of this. We're just waiting for it to dry so we can double check all of our edges. And now we're going to install this piece right here that just goes underneath the pieces we just did. Here's what it looks like. If you can pick that up on the camera. So it should be pretty simple. We'll do that next. And then we will be done most of this front end. I just need a piece for here. I don't know if I'll get to it in this video, but I wanted to show you exactly what these smaller pieces look like first. So a strange turn of events in the video. We lost electricity. We have no power right now. The power went out. So we are going to do this by flashlight only. So be prepared for those type of things, I guess. Well, there we got it. I needed the helping hand of this flashlight. I know it's fashionable, but we got it done with a power outage. Well, that power outage really set my plans back a little bit. So we're just gonna finish up this video here with the center piece getting done. So that's this little piece in here covering this carbon flash section. And then that way, at least all of this is done. And then we can focus on maybe a fender and a door tomorrow. Just make sure it's all clean again, even though this is probably the fifth time I've cleaned it. slip solution on there just so we can position the film just start to line it up kind of looks like Batman just add some more slip here I just want it to be able to slide around easy to like find out exactly where I want to tack it now if that goes there and then will that all line up? See, so we want to make sure this little tab right there lines up because it's going to wrap around. It's going to fold over there. Looks like there'll be a little bit of stretch as we go through here. And that'll be fine. So I'm just going to add some tack in here. So that's down. Now we'll just make sure that this side is all aligned. Tack it down here. On this edge. Don't be afraid to be forceful. The film can handle it. Now we're going to tack this down. Lay this up here like that. Flip over. They might need some coercing.
make sure all of our moisture is out of this side. Don't want any air bubbles. Snapping is okay. We're gonna leave this for now and we'll come back to it. We'll just get the other side set in. pressing and working the film around the edge so there's no moisture or air caught in there. We just do a bunch more of this. I'm going to keep working on these edges, but if you want to head over to Ravuni's website and see what they have, if something interests you, I'll leave a link in the video description below, as well as a discount code to save you some money. So, so far this paint protection film is working out pretty good. So thanks for Rooney for sending that over. This has turned into a bit of a video series at this point. So now we got most of the front end done. I think it's working out wonderful. I'm so happy with that hood. The hood was making me the most anxious because it's the biggest piece that if I messed up, I wouldn't want to do it again. Um, but we'll see when I get to the fenders or the door. So stick around if you want to see how I do on those. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. And we'll talk to you next time.